Hello everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video, we're taking an in-depth look at Neko Ichi's Extra Wide Elevated Cat Bowl. So if you've been keeping up to date with the All About Cats channel, you'll know that last week's video was on the top six best cat bowls. And in the comments, I noticed a number of people were talking about elevated bowls, and a couple of people were talking about this bowl specifically. So the Nekoichi Extra Wide Cat Bowl has over 1,700 reviews on Amazon, and a five-star rating, which is a combination you seldom see. It has similarly positive reviews over on Chewy. People really, really seem to like this bowl. So I thought it would be interesting to try it out for myself and talk to you about the features of the bowl and whether or not I think it's worth the price. So Nekoichi is a brand that offers a pretty wide line of products focusing on a combination of aesthetics and functionality for cats. So their main focus is on bowls for cats. They have a pretty wide selection of of products for uh, containing food and water. Um, and then they also offer a few other products all kind of embodying this philosophy of good design combined with feline functionality. The extra wide bowl in particular uh, addresses a couple of issues that have kind of become popular recently. So one is that it's an elevated bowl. Uh, and the second thing about it is that it's supposed to be a whisker friendly bowl. So we'll talk a bit about this idea of whisker fatigue first. So there is this idea that when cats eat from more narrow dishes, their whiskers touch the sides of the bowl and it can lead to some overstimulation. We know that our cat's whiskers are extremely sensitive, so it makes sense that having this con contact with the bowl while they're eating could be kind of distracting or uncomfortable. Now, the issue is that vets don't agree that whisker fatigue exists. You could probably ask a veterinarian if it's a real thing, and they'll probably say no. But it has become increasingly popular. There's an increasing awareness of this issue, and more and more um, people are making bowls intended to kind of spare your cat's whiskers while they're eating. The other uh, interesting thing that this bowl does is that it's elevated. So the bowl is just over four inches in height, which allows your cat to eat while in a more upright posture. So normally when a cat kills a mouse, for example, they're going to get kind of hunched over their prey when they're eating it. But some people think that an elevated bowl is preferable. So it is intended to take some pressure off of your cat's joints, and it's also supposed to create a bit of a healthier posture for your cat to eat from. So it can be potentially a good option for cats who tend to eat too quickly. Now, similar to whisker fatigue, this is not really something that's been well established in the veterinary community. We don't really know if an elevated bowl is going to be healthier for cats, um, but a lot of people seem to think that this type of bowl is more comfortable for their cats, they see benefits from using it. So it's quite subjective, and um, I think a lot of it is probably in the human's mind, but there doesn't really seem to be any reason to not use an elevated bowl, and for certain cats, it could be beneficial. Again, this bowl intends to address both of those issues. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. The bowl comes really nicely packaged. You'll see that the bowl is made from porcelain, which makes it a little bit more durable than ceramic. It also means that it's going to be a more hygienic option compared to a plastic bowl, right? So that's going to be a good option to help to keep your cat from developing any chin acne. The dish itself measures six inches in diameter, and again, it measures about four inches in height. So it's a little bit off the ground with a nice wide dish. The entire bowl weighs just over one pound, so it's pretty hefty. And this combined with the fact that it has a little rubber ring around the bottom is going to prevent it from sliding around or even toppling when your cat's eating from it. So in my tests, I found that the bowl worked well with all types of food. So I filled it up with a pate, I put some water in that pate, I used a chunky canned food in there, I tried it with dry food. All of these foods went in comfortably, and I didn't notice a ton of spilling. However, the bowl's two cup capacity might be a little bit of an exaggeration. Um, if you put two cups of food in there, you're going to have some mess. So you're not going to be able to fit that much dry food in there. A lot of people report that their cats spilled food out of the bowl, so it might not be the best option for messier eaters. Now, as for my cat's reactions to the bowl, well, both of them ate from it. Forrest and Wessie both seem perfectly comfortable eating from this bowl. I wasn't really able to determine whether or not they preferred it to a traditional bowl. So I wanted to test this out. I put a regular low bowl with kind of higher sides side by side with the Nekoichi bowl and I filled them up with the same food. 
It seemed that Wessie just went for whichever bowl seemed to be closest to him. I didn't really notice any preference. And Forrest went for the lower bowl in my test. So overall, I didn't really see them gravitating towards this Nekoichi elevated bowl. Uh, and they also didn't seem to prefer the feel of it on their whiskers. Um, I, I can't really say whether or not there was a preference. However, again, they seem perfectly comfortable with it. I didn't see a ton of spilling. It tends to stay in place, everything worked pretty well. Cleaning this bowl is pretty straightforward. It is both microwave and dishwasher safe, so you can put it into the dishwasher and get it clean. It might be a little bit awkward in the dishwasher in terms of fit, um, but it certainly works in there and you can also hand wash it. Now, I have noticed some complaints about that rubber ring getting uh, out of place and kind of slipping around, especially if the bowl is wet. Um, so that could be a bit of an issue, and it also does tend to accumulate dirt. Um, but other than that, it's, you know, it's about as easy to clean as any other cat bowl. So overall, I agree with the majority of reviewers. This is a really well-designed, thoughtfully designed cat bowl. Uh, cats seem to like it, and I think it's quite aesthetically pleasing as well. I purchased it in the botanical garden design. You can also get it in the regular cat design, and regardless, it's a nice pretty looking bowl. And in addition to being aesthetically pleasing, it seems to be well constructed. It's quite robust and heavy. It seems like it should last for a long time. And it also has a couple of features that could be beneficial uh, to your cat. So especially if your cat uh, has more of a flat face, like if they're a Persian, a shallow bowl like this could be beneficial. Some cats like having a shallow uh, bowl with this kind of depression because it prevents the food from collecting in the corners. And of course, some cats may benefit from a bowl that doesn't really touch their whiskers. So overall, this seems like a human-friendly, cat-friendly bowl that's really well-made. My one complaint with this bowl is its price. So the regular design costs $16.99. The limited edition botanical garden design that I purchased costs $21.99. You could certainly purchase a relatively shallow bowl at a thrift store or dollar store, put it on a couple of stacked books, and it would work just as well for a significantly lower price. So if you're someone who is interested in, you know, getting the cheapest cat bowl possible, this probably isn't going to be the best option, but it is a really nice cat bowl. So if you're willing to spend some money on a bowl, uh, it could be a good choice. So that's it for my review of this bowl. I hope that you found it helpful if you're considering this Nekoichi bowl or you know, just looking at the different bowls that are available on the market and trying to figure out which type of bowl might be the best option for you. If you're still interested in doing some shopping around, you might like our video on the top six best bowls. So I will put a link to that in the cards as well as the description. As always, there will be a link to the Neko Ichi Extra Wide Elevated Bowl in the description as well, so you can check it out for yourself. If you're interested in more product reviews, buyer's guides, and information on all things cats, please subscribe to the channel. We put out new videos at least once a week, so there's always something to look forward to. If you hit that notification bell, you'll get the news every time we put out something new. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.